I'll teach you everything you need to know about C-frame positions in five minutes. C-frame stands for coordinate frame and at face value, it works pretty similarly to position. For now, we have this part on the base plate and we can position that part using C-frame by just typing in workspace part.cframe and it takes in a C-frame.new value, which is basically, well, it basically works the same way as a vector three value, the X, the Y, and the Z of the position. So we set it 25, 25, 25. So you got teleport up there and it's not anchored so it fell but yeah you saw it you saw it move but why do we have to do all this when we can just use part dot position equals vector three dot new 25 25 at 25 it literally does the exact same thing see well c framing takes into account both position and rotation let me rotate this part to show you if i rotate this randomly all over the place as random as i can get it's all tilted and twisted if we use this line of code to change the position, it'll just move it over there, all twisted up and stuff. If we use the C framing version, it takes into account the position too. And since we didn't specify the rotation with the C frame, this just specifies the position. The default rotation is zero, zero, zero. As for when you switch the positioning, it keeps the same rotation that it currently has. But when you change the C frame, you also have to specify the rotation. And if you don't, it'll give it a rotation of zero comma zero comma zero. And that's why the part is rotated to not have any rotation when you use C frame and why it doesn't when you use position. To specify the rotation, you have to multiply it using the multiplication symbol by C frame dot angles. The difference between C frame angles and rotation is that it takes this value in radians. If you don't know radians, learn it. I'm not going to teach you. I only have a few minutes. But basically, pi is about 3.14159. That is about half a turn, or this is equal to 180 degrees. So this in radians is about 180 degrees. So this is like a 180 degree turn. If we divide it by two, it's a 90 degree turn, which you still wouldn't notice on a cube. You know, it's symmetrical in four different ways. So we divide it by four. This is like a 45 degree turn. You see how it's tilted like 45 degrees as opposed to like this. So yeah, C framing is way better than using position and rotation in my opinion. And I'll show you why in later videos. But for now, let's just do some cool stuff with this. Like, let me just put it in a for loop. 3.14159. We'll make it go up by, I don't know, 0 .0, 0 0.05. And we'll have it wait. Because if we don't, then it's just going to go from 0 to pi instantly. And I know it's not really pi. It's as close as I can get. Okay. And we'll rotate this by I. So it should do like a half turn. Ooh, you see that? Pretty cool, huh? If you're creative, you can start combining some of the stuff we learned in the past and you can make some really amazing things. 